So uh, this is Paul Iris, uh, president of the Liber, and uh, we will ask uh, Paul a few questions about today's AAA workshop in Brussels. Uh, Paul, please, uh, what do you see as the main benefit of a pan-European AAA, which means authentication, authorization, and identification infrastructure in Europe? I think it's important to remember that libraries and indeed researchers are now working in an age where data is freely available and where it can be shared and reused by everyone who wants to do so. In order to make that happen, you need to have an infrastructure in place which will facilitate that. And that's what the AAI workshop is doing today. It's identifying which bits of the infrastructure, legal, technical, political, need to be in place in order to deliver the infrastructure so that we have the goal that we want, which is reusable and resharable data by anyone who wants to use it. Okay, and uh, uh, what are then the main requirements uh, you would like to see addressed when building such an infrastructure? It's a really important time for the report to address the issues that need to be solved in order to deliver the infrastructure and the culture that we want to encourage sharing and reuse of data. There are some technical issues. We've heard about some of those this morning. Uh, there was a big discussion, which is ongoing now as we speak, about whether a one-size-fits-all solution will work or not on the technical side. Uh, I'm not a technical person, primarily, but my own view is that one size will not fit all. Although clearly, in the room, there are some people who think differently. Having said that, I think the main issue is not so much uh, technical but legal. And that's an issue we're going to look at this afternoon. The implementation of a European-wide uh, data protection framework, which will give us the freedom and the ability to reuse and share personal information where it is required in order to make the sharing and reuse of data possible. At the minute, each member state has its own data protection framework, although they all link to the pan-European data protection framework. That will need to change if the AAI infrastructure is going to work. And I'm not a data protection officer, I am a copyright officer. I don't underestimate how difficult those changes are going to be to, uh, to achieve. So, uh, the final third question for Paul as a Libre president. Uh, Paul, what do you see as the main benefit for a Libre uh, of working with networks like Terina, which is coordinating the AAA study? I think Liebe has played a very important role in bringing this report uh, to press. We are the main research library organisation in Europe and clearly uh, libraries have a big part to play. L let's think about the context in which Liebe and all researchers are working. We face a deluge of data where data-driven science may become the norm in terms of pursuing scientific inquiry. What do libraries bring to the picture? Well, we have a tradition of curation in a paper world, and so in a digital world, we bring those same experiences and expertises to, uh, to bear. Uh, we know about collecting material, storing it, describing it, and making it available. We also interact with our researchers. We see them on a day-to-day -day basis in many cases. Uh, in one of the slides that actually Susan Riley showed from the Libra office uh, this morning, she showed that many researchers still store their data on a USB stick or on a, a hard drive of their personal computer. That's no infrastructure for sharing and reusing data. So a major thing that libraries can do is to advocate to researchers what good practices in terms of data management and data curation to make this world of data-driven science a reality.